Welcome, welcome, people. Let me tell you what I'm cooking today. I am cooking toxic mac and cheese. Yes, people, that is what I said. Toxic mac and cheese. And I guarantee you, you ain't never seen no macaroni and cheese like this. But guess what? I promise you it's going to be good. I guarantee you it's going to be dead to hey, hey, Dr. A, welcome, 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 people. So just so y'all know, I've already started cooking. I got stuff inside my, I got stuff inside my microwave. Um, and I got my little noodles here. I got my little elbow noodles, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, so let's go ahead and get started, people, with the noodles first, people. The noodles, because that's so easy. So I got my pot with some water, salt, and olive oil, people. That's all you need for your noodles. And then I'm going to just turn, turn my pot on five. And then I'm just going to put the noodles. Hold on. It's starting to come as... Do I wipe off the noodles first? Star, let me know if I need to, need to wipe off the noodles. If I needed to, James ain't going to eat this because I don't want to kill James, people. All right, people. Um, I need a utensil. Sorry, people. All right. Okay. Ooh, that should be good. Okay. So I got my noodles on, people. And so let's me let's get started. Remember, I'm making toxic mac and cheese, people. So let's get started on my roux, people. Yes, that's what I said. It is a cooking term. It's called a roux, and I can't explain it. It's hard to explain. But I told y'all I'm a chef. I'm an expert. I know what I'm doing. So I got a quarter cup of butter mm -hmm, inside my little handy dandy thing, and then I'm cheating a little bit, people, because I don't want my roux to go awry. So I'm gonna add in my my flour this is self-rising flour people because remember i want my macaroni and cheese to rise when i cook it so self-rising flour and what i'm doing is i just want to make sure that it's not lumpy and my cheat thing is not going to be able to work i got to put it on the stove james james let's go to the stove let me grab all the stuff that i'm going to need people i tried to cheat and try to mix as much in the measuring cup but i need heat people i need heat so let's just go ahead and put this thing inside my little thing like this people i'm making a roux give me a second i gotta get all my butter i need it i need it for my dish Okay, people, so a roux requires constant stirring. So you're going to see me. Let's go ahead and put it up in here. Just put it all in here. You're going to see me stirring this thing a lot. Let me turn my light on, people, so I can see. And let's add, this is a half a cup of milk. Oh, Lord, James, it doesn't look like it turned out right already. So y'all see those lumps, people? I got to get the lumps out. So bear with me while I try to get these lumps out. Because you your roux can't have lumps in it, people. And then I'm going to do the old grandma chick trick. My Mary, you, you should know about this trick where you just take it and you put it like this. Bam, 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 bam. Beep, 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 beep. Woo. People, it's lumping up. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Let's add more milk. So in all people, I'm putting two and a half cups of milk. Give me one sec. I'm going to get to your comments. But all in all, I'm putting two and a half cups of milk. Something smells burnt. Do you smell that, James? What's burning? I don't know. Lord Jesus. Okay, people. Yep, so it's coming together. James, get close. Can, can y'all see that? You see how it doesn't look lumpy? You see that? Bam, 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 bam. What? <laughs> I know, don't be coming for me in the comments, people. Don't be coming for me in the comments. 
Bam, bam, and then I'm gonna put the rest of my milk in there. Boop, boop, boop. It's coming together. It's coming together. See, people, and this is a roux. For those who do not know, this is called a roux. Okay, let me get to your comments really quick, people, because I got to watch my roux. I don't, I don't want my roux to go awry. Okay, L let me see what y'all saying. Let me see. Oh, hey, people, welcome. Welcome. Angie Carter, hey, Angie Carter, welcome to Cooking with Derek. Corey White, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Drew said five minutes in and we already seeing the toxic. No, you haven't seen the toxic yet, people. You haven't seen the comp. We, oh, Corey White said, what are we making? We're making toxic mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. It's the fork scraping the pan for me. I got to keep it stirring, Angie Carter. You trying to mess my dish up. Don't be trying to mess my dish up. You didn't let the roux cook long enough. I ain't finished, Mom Mary. What you talking about? I ain't finished. Why that fire so hot? Ooh, thank you, Stephanie Powers. Mm. Oh, James, take it. My roux is, is switching. It's um, bubbling. People, I just had a bubble. Ooh, get close. Y'all see it's coming together. It's a little thick. I, ooh, that was a lump. Hold on. I got to get the lumps out. I got to get the lumps out. Hold on, people. Stephanie Powers, thank you for letting me know to turn my fire down. I was about to mess up. Oh, it's lumping up. They said to use a whisk, but you know, back in the day, we ain't couldn't afford no whisk. We use forks for everything. So I think this fork is going to do well. People, 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 I'm trying to tell you I'm a chef. I'm an expert. I know what I'm doing. Boop, 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 boop. Don't be getting my happy dance, James. It's coming together. I'm not going to mess this dish up like I did my last dish. Oh, it's getting thick. Oh, let, let, let's take it off. I don't want it to burn. So I'm doing a technique to stop the cooking process. It's known as pick up the pan. It's really simple. You just pick up your pan and the pan is still hot. So it's still cooking. But what it's not going to do is it's not going to burn people. So pick up the pan. So remember this cooking technique called pick up the pan. Oh, we got lumps in it. Hold on, people. Hold on. Maybe I should have put it in a blender. Okay, so I'm putting it back on my pan. Let's turn it on low. So I got my pan on three. See, so this is a very vigorous process, people, but I promise you it's going to come together. So give me about two more minutes of stirring. And then we should be good. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn my pan off. I don't want my pan to burn, people. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, no, I'm supposed to be making it burn. Oh, look. Oh, that's a lump, James. <laughs> I'm... Taylor Martin said, best cooking show. Change my mind. Thank you so much, Taylor. Thank you for your good compliment. I know they be roasting me in the comments. It's okay. I, I, I know what I do. I know I'm an expert. People, y'all should just feel it. It's getting thick. Like it's supposed to be. I got to turn my noodles down because a lot of people don't know. But you can overcook noodles, people. Don't overcook your noodles. That should be one of my cooking um, um, tips on my posts when I post every single day. Ooh! James, look, no lumps. Y'all see? Oh, hold on. Y'all see that? No lumps. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I see people. I know what I'm doing. See? Oh, I 
got a whisk. I forgot. I can use the attachment for my KitchenAid. Hold on. We're having some technical difficulties. Let me wash this off. People, this is a whisk. Look. I don't want water in my roof. See, now this works better. See, my KitchenAid, my Derek A always come to hand, people. See? See, you got a whisk. Look at that. Okay, people, now I'm going to do something that um, green people do. I got to turn my noodles down because I don't want them to overcook. I'm going to do something that green people do and red people do not do. Watch what I do, people. Watch. Give me one second. Watch what I do. You have to properly season your mac and cheese, people. So listen, what I got is I got some black pepper. I got some onion powder. I got some sea salt. Is this the natural one? Yeah. Natural sea salt. See, people, we being healthy. And then I got some crushed red pepper for a little kick. And then I got some paprika. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to season my roux with some paprika. Not too much because I don't want to turn it um, red. There we go. Bam. And then I got some black pepper. Bam. And then I got some onion powder. Bam. And then, James, do you like it spice spice or no? You like it spicy spicy? For real? Okay, James says spicy spicy, so I'm going to put some red crushed pepper flakes. This going to give it that kick, baby. It's going to be kicking. Bam. Did I put salt? No. Salt. Last but not least is my salt, people. And then guess what? I got to stir it up, people. I got to stir it. Ooh, it's red. Maybe I put too much paprika. So I'm going to turn my oven back on because it's back cold now. Let me turn my noodles off. Y'all see how I'm multitasking? You see? I'm multitasking. And look, no lumps, people. No lumps. Bam, bam, bam. Woo, baby, baby. Baby, baby. Watch. This mac and cheese is going to be the best mac and cheese that y'all ever seen on camera. And it's going to be the best mac and cheese that James ever tasted. Why? Because Chef Darius cooking it. Yep, and I'm a chef. I'm an expert. Is this making a lot of noise? I'm sorry it's making a lot of noise, people. Bam, y'all see that? You see that roux coming together? Let me use my fork test. The fork test, ooh! Y'all see that? Bam, trying to tell you, look. Watch how it drips off the fork. You see that consistency? People, that's roux consistency, people. Yes, it is, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, let me see, is it ready? Is it ready? I think it is. Is it ready? I think it is. Okay. It's ready. Now watch what I do to this thing, thing, big people. People, remember what I'm making. Toxic mac and cheese. Now watch what I do. Now you need your cheese, people. So I remove it off the heat. And then I have some Italian. And then I got some mozzarella. And then I got some, this is, Six cheese Italian blend, people, people, people. Watch why I do this thing. So I'm gonna put my little um, Italian, and I'm taking one of my supporters, Charita. She always says it's no such thing as too much cheese. So Charita, this is for you, girl. This is for you. No such thing as too much cheese. Bam. And then look, I'm gonna put. Oh, maybe I put too much cheese. Maybe it got to melt. Let me put it back up here so it can melt. Woo, baby. You can just smell the cheese melting. You can just smell it, smell it, smell it. Maybe it's too thick. It's Star in the comments, James. Did you see her comment? Somebody tag Star. Star, this too thick. Woo, 
Ooh, I think it's just like that. Mm-hmm. It's getting hard to stir. I'm getting a workout. Let's switch to my whisk. Let's switch to my whisk. Let's turn the heat on just a little bit more. Bam! I'm gonna get to your comments, people. I just don't want to mess up this dish like I messed up my last dish. Okay, it's bubbling. That's hot enough, people. All right. So now, look what I'm going to do, people. Remember, toxic mac and cheese. So when I have lovely in my microwave. Ooh, that's hot. Give me a second, people. What I have in my microwave is some cooked spinach, people some cooked spinach and I don't want to ruin the spinach with that cheese fork so I'm gonna get another fork cuz I can eat the spinach later BAM and I'm just gonna put a little bit of green spinach in it I don't wanna put too much let me stir it up and let me see let me see Ooh. Bam. People, I'm almost done with this dish. Y'all just do not know. And then look what else I'm going to put in here, people. Green food coloring. You see? Toxic mac and cheese. How green do you want it, James? I guess that that's enough. If it's not green enough, we'll put more in there. Woo! 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 <laughs> In honor of Halloween and Scary Month, look at this, James. Look, don't it look toxic? But remember, people, it's gonna look scary, but it's gonna taste dente. It's gonna taste dente. Yes, it is. Why well, would have a country accent? I don't know. I want it more green. People, 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 look at this. And y'all see this? This this is homemade cheese sauce, people. Yes, I made this roux all by myself. Ooh, look at that food coloring. People, people, people. People, you just do not know. Bam, 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 bam. And bam, people. All right. Let's put this to the side. Let me get to your comments. Let me see what y'all saying in the comments. Let me see. I'm almost done, people. I'm not done yet, but I'm almost done. Let me see. Let me see what y'all talking about my toxic mac and cheese. Let's go up a little bit, people. Um, Tyrone Adams. Oh, hey, hey, Tyrone. These critical comments are too much. <laughs> Probably can't even cook. Tyrone, no, I am an expert. I'm a chef. I know what I'm doing, Tyrone. Yes, the people in the comments, they be mad because I can cook better than them. There's a lot of people in the comments who can't cook. Like, I don't want to talk about Dr. A again. I've never seen Dr. A cook anything with the exception of banana pudding. I don't know. It's a whole lot of, whole lot of, whole lot of, but I'm just saying. Shakara said, cheese man. Yes, yes. It got to have a lot of cheese. Um... George, ooh, Georgette's in the comments. Georgette is another one who says she can cook. Oh no, I only been over a house one time. Is that whisk from the kitchen? Yes, and it's not a kitchen aid, Georgette. It's a Derek aid. Yep, that's the whisk from my Derek aid. Yep, people, people, people. Brandon Good, hey, what's up, Brandon Good? Brandon Good, thank you so much for going to the YouTube version and commenting inside the YouTube version. Thank you so much, Brandon Good. Thank you for that, Drew. There is your Italian, Corey. See, people, people, people. Where's the cheddar? Shakara, cheddar is, is it yellow or orange? Yellow. Cheddar is yellow. It's not going to turn green, people. Yes. Remember, toxic mac and cheese. I said you, you've never, ever, ever seen somebody cook that. Why? Because it's my own personal recipe. Uh-huh. That's perfect. When the mac sets after baking, it will be just right. Tyrone, thank you for that great comment about how it's perfect. 
with one exception. I'm not baking it. But thank you for your comment. Uh, Dr. A said, PSA, critical comments are a part of the show. They are, yes. Comments is a part of the show, people. Make sure y'all comment. Make sure y'all comment. Make sure. So he making fond, fondue. What is that, Georgette? What, what I tell you about using these big words in the comments, I don't even understand what he's saying. It's the instant mashed potatoes or kindergarten face. No core water. It is cheese. It is a roux. See, we sophisticated over here. It's a roux. It's a roux. Oh, Popeyes. That's mm, Drew. Mm, I don't know what that means. Um, that that's it. I'm logging off. Step no people, people. Stephanie, remember, it's gonna look scary, but it's gonna taste dente. Just trust me, step. Stephanie Powers, hang on in there. Trust me. James is about to take it on camera. I'm trying to tell you. He's going to be like, ooh, this is really good. I'm trying to tell you. Spinach. Yes, Mel. Yes, Mel. This is sophisticated mac and cheese. We put in spinach. What the fudge? People, people, trust me. It looks scary, but it's going to taste very dente. It's going to taste dente. No way would I eat that. <laughs> well, I'm married. People, people, people. Oh, so Corey said, run, James, run. Just don't drop, just drop the camera and go. No, people. No, 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 no. <laughs> James, I better not see your name on that prayer list. <laughs> Mel, he's not going to be on the prayer list. He's not going to be on the prayer list, people. A mess. Carry on with the critical. Tyrone, I thought you was on my side. Tyrone, I thought you was on my side. Don't jump off the ship yet. Don't get off the boat. Stay in the boat. I promise you, I'm taking you somewhere. I'm taking you somewhere. James, no. <laughs> in Star Voice. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Sorry, people. I shouldn't be using inside joke. Oh, Erica, welcome. For y'all that I know, Erica is one of my lovely supporters. She always comments on my Tasty Tuesday videos. Thank you for your support, Erica. Thank you. Thank you, girl. And welcome to the show. I'm teaching people how to make my toxic, my toxic mac and cheese. Star said, okay, I missed the whole show. What the green stuff is he making? Star, I asked for your comp. Star, let me know. When you take your noodles out the box, do you supposed to wash your noodles off? I need you to let me know before James eat it. I don't want to make him sick. Oh, hey, John. John San Giovanni. Welcome to Cooking with Derek. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, hey, Max Brooks. Welcome to Cooking with Derek. Yeah, you taking James to the hospital. No, I'm not, people. All right, so James, let's switch this camera around. Okay, people. So now, let's go ahead and work. First of all, let me wash my hands. People, you always got to be sanitary. Remember, you got to be sanitary. So now, people, what I'm going to get started is my noodles, people, my noodles. And I'm going to show you a step that most green people forget, but red people don't forget, people. Red people do not forget. Okay, so I'm going to run some cold water. Got to make sure it's cold. And remember how I said you can overcook your noodles? Yes, people, you can. Trust me, I'm an expert, I know. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to dump my noodles. And look, I'm washing off my noodles in cold water, people. In cold water, please do not use hot water. It's just gonna continue to cook your noodles and your noodles gonna be overcooked. And don't nobody like no overcooked noodles in their mac and cheese. Bam, 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 bam. And what I'm doing people, cause I got a lot of people who watch me who don't know how to cook. So when you cook noodles, it's something that's called starch that forms. I'm washing the starch off of my noodles. So that is what I'm doing. I'm washing, washing the, 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 um, the starch off, people. Yes, yes, yes. I told y'all, people, I'm an expert. I know what I'm doing. Okay, people. And I will put this down in my sink, but I didn't clean my sink before I did all this, and I should have. 
so I can't put it inside my sink. Because people, you got to be sanitary. This bowl not going to be big enough. Let's just go for, see, th this is one of my star bowls because star gave it to me as a housewarming gift. Ooh, that's not clean, people. Mm -mm. Let's put that inside the water. That's not clean. Let's get another one. I don't think that one's going to be big enough. Let's use my other star bowl. See, star, she gave me a whole set of bowls, people. So, yep, I'm going to use my star bowl or one of my star bowls. Because watch, people, I'm going to put this in a bowl and I'm going to show you why, people. Because I'm going to do another step that green people don't do. People, once you washed your noodles off, you got to season your noodles, people, people, people. You got to season it. So I'm going to take some salt. Oops, don't want that to close. So salt and pepper. And then you have to mix it up, people. You got to mix it up. People, see, I'm trying to tell y'all I'm a chef. I know what I'm doing. Bam. And look, news, news, noodles are ready and prepped, people. Okay, let me get, let me get to your comments one more time, people, um, while I set my stage right first. Oh, sorry, James. Okay, I'm going to turn my oven on because my cheese sauce needs to be warm, people. People don't like cold mac and cheese. Okay, let me get to your comments. Um, boo, 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 boo. Ooh, oh, hi. Hey, welcome to Cooking with Derek. Corey said they look done and raw at the same time. How do you do that? No, Corey Whitey, they don't look done and and. Don't be putting gifts in the comments, Chikara. Okay, crunchy looking noodles. No, these are elbow noodles. They look done. I'll show y'all a trick how you know if your noodles right. Oh, hey, Caitlin. Welcome to Cooking with Derek. Caitlin, so y'all do not know, Caitlin is another one of my supporters. She always watches me. Thank you so much for watching. All right, who the heck are green people? Brandon Good, that's just a little... I need you to use what is it called context clues. I don't want people to think I'm racist because I'm not. But um, use context clues. <laughs> okay. Corey Wyden said, so you just gonna let James suffer. I don't eat cheese. Jolita. Hey, girl. Welcome to Cooking with Derek. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, he already sick thinking about eating it. No, James is not sick, people. James is fine. One thing about D, though, he's going to be clean. A fool, a mess, but clean. <laughs> Dr. A, thank you for that comment and shade at the same time. Yes, people. You got to be clean. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes, people. Oh, Diane Elder. Thank you for your comment. Welcome, Diane. Who is this? I don't know how to pronounce your name. A-U-G-H-T-E-N-A. Argentina. Thank you for watching Cooking with Derek. I don't know you, but thank you for tuning in, girl. Thank you, thank you. I think you're a girl. Let me go out to the picture. Yeah, thank you for tuning in, girl. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Tyrone, why the spinach and green food coloring? Because it's in honor of Scary Month. Halloween is coming up. Remember, all of these next couple of videos, I think it's two videos or one video is left. They look scary, but it's going to taste Dente. It's going to taste dente. And next week, people, I'm bringing out all the stocks, people, because I am cooking something with pumpkin in it. And I'm going to, oh, I remember, I never reveal what I'm cooking until Sunday. But I'm telling you, next episode, I'm putting all my chef skills to work. People, people, people. Erica said, I watch on Sundays too. I just really enjoy it. And I love your enthusiasm about something you love to do. It's awesome. Erica, you about to make me shed a tear. Hold on. Whew. Thank you so much, Erica, for that great comment. You see, Dr. A, that's what you put in the comments. Thank you. And, oh, my Mary, why are you going to make stuff you don't eat? Because I'm a chef. See, I'm multi-talented. I don't even have to taste the food, and I know it's going to be good. Mm, you want to know why? Because I'm an expert. I'm a, Remember, I'm a food connoisseur. I'm a food connoisseur. Yes, I am, people. I know what I'm doing. Okay. All right, James. 
Erica has made his day. Yes, yes she, Mel, thank you. Yes, Mel has. Okay, people. Let me um, stir this up. Let me turn it up, people. So I want the cheese sauce to be hot. I, like James don't want to taste no um no um um cold cheese. That's nasty. People, people, people. And it looks so green. See, toxic. What's that song? That old song. It's like toxic. Um, that girl is toxic. Yes. Yep, Dr. A, I know who sang that song. Boom, boom. That's an old group. Um, Bobby Brown. Yep. That girl is toxic. This cheese is toxic. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, people. All right. It's warming up. It's bubbling. Woo! Woo! It almost popped, people. Sorry. Okay. I just wanted to make sure it was hot. Okay, people. So I'm going to turn it off because I don't want to burn my cheese, people. And then look what I'm going to do. James, I'm going to come right here. People, 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 for the first time ever, you're going to see me not use a paper plate. You cannot have mac and cheese in a paper plate. So I got to use a bowl. So I'm going to take my noodles. I'm going to give him two scoops because I know he's going to like it. And then I'm going to take my little toxic mac and cheese. People. Let me get a, a spoon. It looks so good. You like extra cheese, James? No, James, I said no. Okay. All right, people. Got to mix it up for him. You see a chef got to prepare it right. Bam! Toxic mac and cheese. Okay, let us pray. Father God, I pray over this toxic mac and cheese that it don't hurt James and put him in a hospital. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. You want to ready to switch, James? All right, people. So my cameraman going to taste this since I don't like cheese. Remember, people, it's going to look scary, but it's going to taste dente. It's going to taste very dente. <laughs> you don't want to taste it, James? You want to taste it on camera? <laughs> James! You got to taste it. I don't like it. I don't like cheese. Well, people, um, um, I'm going to have to call James. <laughs> he didn't want to taste it. But people, I swear it's going to, it's going to taste very, very good, people. All right. So thank y'all so much. For, <laughs> don't be laughing. Don't put a laughing emojis up. Thank y'all so much for watching this episode of Cooking with Derek, where laughter is my language, and I will see you on next Sunday. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Cooking with Derek. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that big thumbs up button and tell me what you thought about it in the comments. And remember, if you want to watch more episodes of Cooking with Derek, hit that big red subscribe button and be, hit the bell if you want to be notified every single time I post. Until next time.